Unit three. Why go to school? Focus on reading. Page sixty four. Task two. Students' essay. There's more information on the internet than in a million schools. And in all the teachers' and schools' books in the world, some of us say, "So why go to school?" In my opinion, there's more education in school than just acquiring information. While the internet provides information, schools can provide knowledge. Knowledge is not just information, but the organization and interpretation of information, which can be achieved through a good school's curriculum. Besides the group work. Teamwork and games in class can help students define themselves and the way they relate to others. It means that schools, unlike the internet, provide young people with knowledge, critical thinking skills, and social skills. It is obvious that some students like school; others think they hate it. For students who are doing well, school is an attractive place. But those who are not successful with their grades. And are always pressed by teachers and their parents. Consider school boring and uninteresting. School is not only a place of formal education; it is a place where students can develop their skills in social relationships, and increase their tolerance and mutual respect for each other. At school, we can enjoy different cultural and confidence-building activities, and at the same time, realize and demonstrate our individual talents. Everybody has an opportunity to take part in dramatic and musical performances at a school or class party, or in school or inter-school sports competitions. Now, many of the activities are organized through clubs. They provide a variety to the main educational programs and can also be enjoyed away from school and outside regular school hours. After the home, school is the main social environment for young people. At school, we make our best friends, with whom we spend considerable time going together to excursions, concerts, parties, and discos. Focus on listening, page seventy-two. Task three: Listen and check up your answers. Primary education takes place in infant schools and junior schools. Children go to school at the age of five and start secondary education when they are eleven or twelve. Compulsory secondary education lasts five years. Traditionally, secondary schools are divided into five years called forms, from one to five. Unlike Ukrainian school children, English pupils go to the forced form only when they are eleven or twelve. At the age of sixteen, they may either leave school or continue their education in the sixth form. Most British children get their secondary education at comprehensive schools. At the age of fourteen or fifteen, in the third or fourth form of secondary school, pupils begin to choose their exam subjects and prepare for their general certificate of secondary education, which they take at the age of sixteen. Many people decide to leave school at the age of sixteen, and they can go to a further educational college where they choose more practical courses, for example, typing, hairdressing, engineering. Pupils who stay on into the sixth form, lasting two years more, prepare for their A level exams. A stands for advanced. Good A level results in two or five subjects are necessary to get a place at one of British universities. Secondary education is available to all children in Britain. Nevertheless, some parents prefer private education for their kids. No more than five percent attend private schools. They are expensive. Private schools are sometimes called independent, and those ones which teach pupils aged thirteen to nineteen years old are called public. In a lot of public schools, children live as well as study. They are called boarding schools. Among public schools, there are boys' schools, girls' schools, and mixed schools. The most famous British public schools include Harrow, Winchester, and Eton, which date back to the 15th century. Many people in Britain are against public schools. They believe that all children in the country should have equal opportunities at the start and go to a usual British comprehensive school. Check your English, page eighty-four. Task three: Listen to the conversation. 
What did you think of the exams, Pete? I think they were dead easy. Maybe they were easy enough for you, but they were much too hard for me. Oh, come on. You've probably done better than you think. No, I'm certain I failed in Latin and most likely in French and history too. Thank goodness it's all over though. We can forget about it now, at least until the results come out. Yes, now I can get on with reading all the books I've been wanting to read for months, but haven't had time for. What? Well, it's up to you. I'm not going to open another book for months. Well, I'll take a day or two off, perhaps. But if I'm going to the university in October, I'll have to get down to some serious work again pretty soon. I've got to get through the A-level exams first. I'll worry about university if and when I ever get there. That's the trouble with you. You always try to do everything at the last minute. And you're too serious. That's your trouble. You're always with your nose in the books. Well, I like reading. And I can't stand it. I don't know why I decided to try to go to the university in the first place. I think I'll run away and join the army or something.